Welcome to our video series on Mastering FTP. In this video, we'll look at FTP functionality through the command line interface. In this video, I'm going to start expanding on what we've already covered. And so far, we've covered the fundamentals of FTP. What it is, how to navigate around your server, how to upload files, how to create folders, how to delete files and folders, and how to change the attributes of a file or folder, and how to work with hidden files. But now I'm going to take a jump, basically, from working with FTP through a graphical interface to working or giving you FTP functionality through a command line interface. And that's where you don't see it. You just type in commands. Even though it's a lot less user-friendly than a graphical interface, of course, it does have a lot of flexibility once you get used to it and a lot of very powerful features. So what you want is Telnet or SSH. Telnet SSH. Basically, this is software that will let you connect directly to your server from your computer here and type in commands. A very popular free software for Telnet and SSH, and SSH stands for Secure Shell, which essentially means that you're connecting to your server over a secure connection. Okay, PuTTY is a very popular free software. So you can just type in PuTTY in Google, and you should generally get it in the top results. Or to be more specific, you could type in PuTTY Telnet, for example, or even PuTTY SSH. Alternatively, you can go to download.com and perhaps search for Telnet SSH. There, you'll find a whole bunch of Telnet SSH clients, as they're called. But I'll be doing these demonstrations in PuTTY because it's entirely free and it works very well. Really, once you get used to them, there isn't that much difference between the clients. They all do basically the same thing. Okay, all you need to do is download PuTTY, and you don't even need to install it, as you'll see. I've actually gone to the download page for PuTTY, and as you can see, there are a number of options. Obviously, it depends on your operating system, which version you download. But since I'm doing this demonstration in Windows, I want the Windows version, putty.exe. And we also want PSFTP, and you can use them together. They both have pros and cons, so all you need to do is download those. Okay, I've downloaded them, and there they are on the desktop. As I mentioned, you don't even need to install them. To run PuTTY, you just double-click, and that's it. It starts right up. I'll talk you through the options in further videos. So let's just cancel that for now, and we exit. And PSFTP, if we just double-click on that, it opens right up as well. And as you can see, it works at the command line level. You type in a command line here. It says, effectively, to connect, type in open host name here. So really, for example, I could type in opendemonstrationdomain.com and then press Enter, and it will ask me for my access details. And when we're done with that, we can just close. So that's the software I'll be talking you through, and as mentioned, the advantages of this are that while it's more involved than just using the graphical interface, it does have some very powerful features that I feel are definitely worth showing you. They're worth coming to grips with if you really want to start diving into the more advanced webmaster skills and have a lot more flexibility and control, and that's how you'll work on your website.